This is a short introduction to interpolation. In many situations, we would like to look into tables uh, for the value of variables given some other parameters. In this case, for example, we are looking for the enthalpy of the air at 1100 ranking. And uh, we go to the book and we found um, and the table for the air. And one column is the temperature in ranking and the other one is the enthalpy in BTU per pound mass. And um, the value that we want to uh, find is the enthalpy for 1100. But when we look into the table, there is no value for 1100. We have 1080 and 1120. So there is not 1100. So our value should be somewhere in between 260 to 271. That's the enthalpy that we want to uh, uh, find. And in those cases, we have to interpolate. So there is not an analytical relationship in between temperature and enthalpy. And for that reason, we have to find the approximate value by interpolating. So in this slide, so what I have is a, a Python um, array. So the this is the first column of the temperature. The second column is the enthalpy. Uh, you don't have to have the whole uh, um, values of the table. You just need the two adjacent values. And I'm plotting them. And in this particular case, they are very much a, a straight line. But in some other cases, they are not. The only thing is that the points on the table are actually the dots that are in the plot. And the lines in between is the approximation. It's a linear approximation of the function. Uh, we want to find out the value of the enthalpy at 1100. So it's going to be something over there. So in Python, in NumPy, there is a function that is called interp, in which uh, and the arguments are first, the value that you want to interpolate. And second is the, the x-axis, in this case is the temperature, and in, the third argument is the y-axis, uh, which is in this case, the enthalpy. And I'm just plotting the dot that, that we found. So H1 is the value that we are looking for and is 266. So we can see that that's the value. So if you have Python uh, with these uh, few lines, so you don't have to input the, the whole table, you just have to input uh, the two adjacent values for T and for H, he will do the interpolation. Next, I will present how we do this uh, by hand and where this equation came from. Let's have a look to the procedure to interpolate uh, a value in the table. Um, so let's remember that uh, we are interested to find uh, the enthalpy at a temperature of 1100. Okay, so we want to know that. And in the table that now I have it here in Python, we have um, 1080 and 1120. So we need 1100, which is in the middle, and those corresponds to enthalpies of 260.97 and 271.03 in the correspondent plot. So this is the uh, second point and the first point is this one. And so let me put the corresponding values in the axis. And for simplicity, I'm going to call them x1, x2, y1, y2. So this is going to be x1, y1, and this is x2, y2. So x1 is this point over here is 1080. x2 is 1120. y1 is 260.97. y2 is 271.03. So what we need to find is the equation of this straight line and then evaluate the value at 1100. So this is our 
point of interest. We want to know what is that value of that function. And I'm going to call this one x point. And the unknown is going to be y. So this is the point one, point two. So what we know is that the equation of the line is given by the slope. So we can compute the slope and the slope is this distance divided by this distance. The slope in this case m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So this is y2 minus y1 divided x2 minus x1. So that's this distance. But we also know that because this point is along the same straight line, so this section is going to have the same slope. So the slope corresponding will be to this distance divided by this distance. So that distance over there is uh, y minus y1 and this distance over there is x minus x1. So the slope in this case is also equal to y minus y1 divided by x minus x1. So in this equation the only unknown is y. So the only unknown is this value. All the other values are known. So we can solve for y. So solving for y, we have that y is equal to the left hand side multiplied by x minus x1. So that's m multiplied by x minus x1. And then I have to move y1 to the other side. So that's ply plus y1. So now we are ready to evaluate our function. So first of all, from this, we can uh, compute the slope. So the slope m is equal to y2 minus y1. So that's 271.03 minus 216.96 divided by x2 minus x1. So 1120 minus 1080. And that will give us a value of 0 0.2515. So our equation, y is equal to the slope, in this case, 0 0.2515, multiplied by x, and x is the value that we want to interpolate, which is uh, 1100 uh, minus x1, and x1 is 1080 plus y1, which is 260.96. So when we compute that value, we are going to have that y is equal to 266 dot, which is corresponds to the value that we found with the inter function in Python. So if we want to do it by hand, we have to remember just the equation of the straight line. The third alternative is to use Desmos. And what I did in Desmos was um, um, a little table here, which in which you input the value. So you can interactively put the values of the table. You only need the two points of the table, the one before and the one after. So you can modify for, for whatever the value that you have. In this case, I already put the, the values in the table, x1 uh, and y1 and x2 and um, y2. So after you input, and um, this will calculate the equation of the straight line. Very straightforward. We have here the slope and it's actually plotting the function. And these are the two points in the table. And then in this uh, A, um, you input the value that you want to interpolate. So in this case, it's already 1100. And the result 
m multiplied by um, a plus b and the value is 266. So 266 is the uh, interpolation value. If you by any chance swap the, the, the columns instead of x, put the y and instead of y, the x, you can find the inverse relationship here at the, at, in the last um, row. And um, that will give you the interpolation in that case. So uh, I will put the link to this um, Desmos and you can find them online. That's the third alternative to do interpolation. Probably the most accessible for you at the moment, if you don't know Python.